day 10 or whatever day you're at at this point uh, is located on slide seven. And this is where we ask that students share their work. This is the turn in page. And if you scroll over on this slide, there is a suggestion for how to have students turn it in for a different way instead of just sending it to one person, the teacher, a way to really showcase their work. This tends to change the quality of their work when they know their peers are going to see it right away. So on here, uh, you'll be able to highlight the term here and be able to insert a link. And that link can go to a Wakelet. And I want to show you on here is a um, tutorial about how to uh, create a Wakelet. But I want to show you what they are if you've never used one before. I used it for this project. Um, and it's like a digital bulletin board, really a beautiful way to showcase student work. Anyone can access it through one simple link and they can click on anyone's work. This was actually an Adobe Spark page, which is one of the options for um, creating for Butter's Final Meal, a really beautiful dynamic way to share information um, and including multimedia as well. So these are easy to access on the Wakelet um, and easy to turn in, which is also a really um, benefit. I want to point out that on the side, there's a tutorial for teachers on how to create a Wakelet that you could then link um, for them to sh share their work and also how to put the link so they can view their work. But on the student copy that we've been kind of switching back and forth, the one that you will actually be editing, you might want to leave this. This is a video for your students, how to turn their work in using Wakelet and how to then view their classmates work so that you don't have to do that part of the teaching.